Hey everyone, welcome to Arcadia Yoga. My name is Sarah Knademan, and today I'm going to be leading you through certainly a full body flow, but it's going to focus primarily on engagements in your core as well as lower body. As you can see, I am wearing ankle weights. You can certainly do that if you have any at home with you. Um, again, just adds a little bit of an extra challenge. You can certainly try them out, take them off, whatever feels comfortable to you. Um, if you don't have any, I can assure you we're going to be focusing on the legs um, and again, engaging the core at all times. So glad you're here. Let's get started. We are going to start in a comfortable seated position. So I like to cross my legs. Your legs can be out in front of you in a butterfly. But make sure that you are actually sitting on your sitting bones. Release and weight the knees down. Feel the connection of your seat on your mat or maybe a pillow, a block, a blanket. And then take a nice tall spine. Lean back slightly, bringing your shoulders over your hips and find some intention with your hands. This might be palms up or down on your knees. It could be folded in your lap. Roll your shoulders up by your earlobes wherever you are and then roll them down your spine. Feel that space in between your shoulders and your ears. Take a big deep breath in, lift long through the crown of the head, chin away from the chest, and a full deep exhale. Let's take two more of these. Big breath in, big breath out. Last one, full breath in. And a big deep breath out. Good. We're going to sit here quietly just for a few more breaths if there's an intention that you'd like to set for your practice today. A simple one can just be an I am statement. I am brave. I am creative. I am calm. Something that's resonating with you. If it feels good, you can take your left hand to your heart and your right hand to your belly. Actively and physically feel the breath moving through the body. Feel the space that you are creating. Sealing in that intention, something that you'd like to remind yourself off of the mat today. Let's take one more breath. Full deep inhale and a big breath out. If you've closed your eyes, slowly start to open them. Bring your hands and palms to your knees. We're going to take six spinal stretches here. So on your next inhale, roll the shoulders back, puff the heart and chest up and gaze up towards the ceiling. Press your palms into your knees. It helps to engage the core. And then on your next exhale, tuck chin and pelvis round your back. Keep pressing your palms into your knees one more time. Inhale, gaze up, heart and chest forward, shoulders back. And then exhale, tuck chin and pelvis, shoulders forward, back rounds. Good, inhale, back to a neutral spine. I will mirror you, right fingertips down, inhale, Left fingertips up, exhale up and over to the side. Roll the top shoulder back, maybe you gaze up towards the ceiling. Good, inhale, come through center. Left fingertips down, inhale, right fingertips up and exhale up and over to the side. Roll the top shoulder back, maybe gaze up towards the ceiling. One more time each side, inhale, lift up. Exhale, side bend, keep weighting the knees down. Inhale through center, exhale up and over. Inhale, center, nice and long, big breath in. And then exhale, take right hand to left knee, left fingertips back behind you like a kickstand. Inhale, lift long through the crown of the head. 
Exhale, gentle twist. Inhale, come back through center, switch it out. Inhale to find length. Exhale, twisting to the right this time. One more time each side. Inhale through center, keeping the lift. Exhale, gentle twist. Inhale, center. Exhale, twist. Inhale, come back through center, and let's take butterfly here. Soles of the feet together, knees wide. Take your hands to your feet as if you're reading a book, or if it feels more comfortable, you can just cup the top of the toes. Inhale, lift long through the crown of the head. Find some intention here, big breath in. And then exhale, elbows wide, and I say nose to toes, but my nose is probably never going to meet my toes, and that is okay. It just helps us to know what direction am I going in, reaching and stretching through the hips, pulling the knees wide. You can even take your elbows and press the shins or knees down. One more breath here. Good. Inhale. Come all the way back up. I'm going to scooch long on my mat. Take your legs out long in front of you and just give them a little wiggle to release anything in the hips. Good. And then crisscross the ankles and we'll come into a tabletop. So rocking over onto hands and knees. Spread the fingers wide. Press into all of your finger pads. This is core engagement here. Bring your belly button up towards the spine. Keep the breath moving but you're feeling almost like that surprise face, but in the belly area. Again, press down into your hands. Inhale, belly down, gaze forward. Cow pose here, shoulders pull apart, spreading the sitting bones wide. Big breath in, exhale, tuck chin and pelvis, actively press your back up towards the ceiling, just like we were doing in our seated position. Three more times here. Inhale, belly down, gaze forward. Exhale, tuck chin and pelvis. One last time. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Neutral spine, but again, find that core engagement. Press down into both hands. Put the weight into the left knee. Inhale, lift the right leg and bend the knee towards 90 degrees. Flex the sole of the foot is reaching up towards the ceiling. And we're going to pulse here 10 times. Big breath in. And then on your exhale, start to lift the sole of the foot up, just pulsing. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, one, keep it lifted. Extend the right leg all the way back. Keep the right foot flexed. Big breath in. Exhale, knee to nose. Two more times. Inhale, reach back. Exhale, knee to nose. Inhale. Exhale, knee to nose. Inhale, reach all the way back. Exhale, tabletop. Release down, shake the hips, come off the shoulders if you need to. Roll out the wrists if that feels good and then we'll come into the other side. Coming into your tabletop, engaging the core first. So it just means scooping that belly button to, towards your spine. Press into the hands, press into the right knee and then bend up the left leg. Sole of the foot is flexed and pressing up towards the ceiling. Take a big breath in, and then exhale. Start pulsing the left foot up. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Hold, extend the left leg long. Keep the foot flexed. Big breath in. Exhale, knee to nose. Rounding the back. Good. Two more. Inhale. Exhale, knee to nose. Inhale. Exhale, knee to nose. 
Inhale, one last time, find that length. And then exhale, come into tabletop. Bring the knees wide, big toes to touch, child's pose. Bring the forehead down to the mat or maybe stacked on your hands. If you're feeling any tension in the shoulders, you can come more into this position. Just encourage the hips back towards the heels. Full breath in. Full breath out. On your next inhale, start to come back up towards your tabletop. Walk your hands out, a hand print or so, tuck the toes. Inhale, lift up the knees off of the mat. Big breath in, exhale, downward facing dog. We won't be here for long. Bend one knee at a time. Shake out the hips, nod your head, yes and no. If it feels good, you can take a nice wide stance with your feet. Our hips are lifting high. We are encouraging the heels down, pressing into the finger pads. Good, big breath in. Full breath out. Inhale, look forward towards fingertips. Exhale, walk your feet up towards your hand. Forward fold. Feet are hips distance width apart. Bend into the knees, let the abdomen just drape over the legs, tuck your chin, crown of the head comes down to the mat. Opposite thumb to opposite elbow, ragdoll pose here again, tuck the chin as much as you can. Maybe sway side to side if that feels good. Keep the breath moving here. And then come back towards center. Release your hands. Inhale, slide them up your shins to meet your knees. Halfway lift. Nice flat back here. Scoop the belly up and in. Pull the shoulders away from the ears. Reach long through the crown of the head. Deep inhale. Exhale, forward fold. Tuck the chin. Inhale, slow rise up. Mountain pose. Arms come up. And then exhale, twist to your right. So left fingertips forward, right fingertips back. When you're here, think about we're not opening the whole body up to the right, just the arms. So keep the core engagement, belly button tracking forward, just the arms open wide. Full breath in. And then exhale, take your right hand down to your right leg. Left arm reaches up, gaze up. Just a big stretch. Good. And then exhale. Lower the arms down. Inhale, both arms up center. Exhale, twist left this time. So right fingertips forward, left back. Keep pulling the belly button forward towards the front of the mat. Keep an engagement with the knees. Good, full deep inhale, and then on your exhale, left hand comes down to left leg, right arm reaches all the way up and back. Big breath in, exhale, both hands down. Look forward, inhale, both arms up. Exhale, cactus the arms, baby back bend, full gaze up. Inhale, reach both arms up. Exhale, forward fold, come all the way down. Good, inhale, halfway lift. And exhale, fold, plant hands, step back to a high push-up plank position. Take a big breath in here. Exhale, five more deep breaths. Bend into the elbows, you can always come down onto the forearms. Full breath in. Full breath out, three more breaths here. Actively press your shoulders up towards the ceiling and press your heels back. Good, two more breaths, full in. Deep out, press into your finger pads, deep breath in. Exhale, downward facing dog, really good. Big breath in and a big breath out. 
All right, take your final two breaths here in your downward facing dog before we get into our flow. Big breath in and out. Maybe repeating that mantra in your head, that I am statement, creating that focus. And then when ready, inhale, lift your right leg back straight and strong. Take a big breath in here. Full inhale, exhale, knee towards your nose, ripple forward into a high plank and hold. And then inhale, reach all the way back up. Exhale, step the right foot forward, low lunge. Good, pause here for a moment. And then inhale, crescent lunge. Lifting up both arms, imagine you're holding that beach ball. Full breath in. Exhale, airplane arms back reaching the arms back. If it feels better, you can come into a prayer with the arms, but palms down, squeeze pinkies together, keep bending into the right knee, reach long through the crown of the head. Inhale, come back to your crescent lunge. Exhale, warrior two. So sealing down the left heel, reaching into a T with the arms. Big deep breath in here and out. One more. Holding on the first set. Good. When ready, inhale, parallel the feet to the left, open up to star pose. Arms are nice and wide. And then take toes out, heels in. Come down into a squat, into goddess position. Take your hands to the inside of your thighs. Big deep breath in. I will mirror you. Exhale, dip right shoulder down. Good. Inhale back through center. Exhale, dip left shoulder down. Good. One more time each side. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Good. Inhale, star. Parallel the feet. Straighten out the legs, reach up both arms. Big breath in here. Cue change, exhale, warrior two towards the back of your mat. So spin left toes, bend into the left knee this time, arms out to a T. Big breath in, big breath out. Inhale, flip the front palm, exhale, reverse your warrior, reaching all the way up and back. Squeeze the inner legs together. Good. Inhale, warrior two. Exhale, take both hands down to the ground. Step the left leg back. Big breath in. Exhale, lower all the way or halfway. Flip the toes. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Full breath in. Full breath out. Taking it on the left side here. Inhale, left leg high. Exhale, knee to nose, just coming into your plank. High push up. Good. Inhale, kick the left leg back. Exhale, step it forward. Low lunge. Pause here. Find your nice steady base. Inhale, crescent lunge. Both arms up. Big breath in. Big breath out. Deep inhale. Exhale. Airplane the arms back. Again, you can always take your arms to prayer. Palms down, squeezing the pinkies together. Keep the breath moving. Inhale, both arms up, crescent lunge. Exhale, warrior two, standing on that balance beam, seal the right heel down, arms out to a T, shoulders away from ears. One ready, inhale, parallel the feet to your right, star pose, big breath in. And then exhale, goddess pose, toes out, heels in, sit down into your squat, Take hands to the inside of the thighs. Big breath in. Exhale, right shoulder down. Inhale, center. 
Exhale, left shoulder down. Inhale, center. Exhale, right shoulder down. Sit a little bit deeper. Good, inhale, center. Exhale. Good, inhale, star pose. Parallel the feet, lift all the way up. And then exhale, warrior two to the front of your mat this time. Good, big breath in and out. Inhale, flip the front palm. Exhale, reverse the warrior. Hold here. Good. Inhale, warrior two. Exhale, windmill the hands back down. Step the right leg back. Full breath in. Exhale, lower half wear all the way down. Flip the toes. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Big breath in. You can come into child's pose at any time or use tabletop instead of downward facing dog. We're going to take this one breath, one movement. When ready, inhale, lift the right leg high. Exhale, knee to nose. Inhale, kick back. Exhale, step it forward, low lunge. Inhale, crescent lunge. Big breath in. Exhale, warrior two. Inhale, star pose. Exhale, toes out, heels in, sit down, goddess pose. Take your hands to prayer, thumbs to heart center. Sitting down. First, taking the weight into the heels, maybe picking up all of your toes and wiggling them. And then just start to sway side to side. Again, keeping the weight mostly into the heels, sitting down low. Lean back slightly, shoulders over hips. You've got this big breath in, big breath out. Good, next inhale, star pose, parallel the feet. And then exhale, warrior two towards the back of the mat. Inhale, flip the front palm. Exhale, reverse your warrior. Inhale, warrior two. Exhale, come all the way down. Step the left leg back, big breath in. Exhale, Chaturanga Dandasana. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Catch your breath here. One more. Last flow on the left side. Inhale, left leg high. Exhale, knee to nose. Inhale, kick the leg back. Exhale, step it forward, low lunge. Inhale, crescent lunge. Exhale, warrior two. Good. Find your breath here. Next, inhale, star pose, parallel the feet. Reach out the arms nice and wide. And then toes out, heels in. Goddess pose, sit all the way down here. Take your hands to heart center prayer, thumbs in towards the chest. Big breath in, put the weight in the heels and start rocking side to side. Sit as deep as you can. You can always take your hands down to the legs if that feels more comfortable. And feel free to really roll the shoulders out, get into this movement. But use the breath, feel the activation, especially in the inside of the legs. You guys got this. Good. Next, inhale, star pose, parallel the feet, big breath in. Exhale, warrior two. Inhale, flip the front palm. Exhale, reverse your warrior. Inhale, warrior two. Exhale, spin all the way down, step the right leg back, big breath in. Exhale, Chaturanga Dandasana. Inhale, Upward Facing Dog. Exhale, Downward Facing Dog. Full breath in. And full breath out. Good. Inhale. Exhale. Coming into Pigeon Pose here. Inhale, lift up the right leg. Exhale. Bring the shin forward, 
right shin forward, extend the left leg long. If you're wearing ankle weights, this could be a good time to remove them. It might be a little uncomfortable in this space in pigeon. When you're ready, start to come down onto your forearms. We're trying our very best to keep hips even here and to protect the knee. Once you're on your forearms, this is where I'm going to stay, but if you'd like to, you can extend your arms all the way out and place the forehead down on a block, a blanket, or your mat. But I'll count to 10 here. And we'll find some quiet and surrender in this shape. Next, inhale, brings you all the way back up, and then sit down all the way onto your side and face the left side of your mat. Bring the right sole of the foot in towards center, left leg out long. Inhale, reach both arms up, and then exhale, reach forward. I feel this predominantly in the left inside of my leg. You could feel it in your hips, in your glutes, but wherever you are, you're on your palms, you're on your forearms, tuck your chin, just let your head hang. Five deep breaths here. Good. Inhale, start to come back up towards center. Crawl back to the front of your mat, tabletop. Press into your hands, tuck your toes, downward facing dog. Big breath in, lift up the left leg. Exhale, knee towards the inside of the wrist. Pigeon pose here, extend the right leg long. Start to lean forward, come down onto your forearms, and same thing here. One side could feel very different than the other, so, you know, just have some compassion for yourself with that. But then when you're ready, hang your head. It can also feel really comfortable if you have a block at home to just place your forehead down onto a block. Ten breaths here. Good. inhale, start to come all the way back up. This time roll and sit onto your left hip. Extend your right leg out long, left sole of the foot in. Take a big breath in, lift up both arms, and then exhale, reach forward. Once you're feeling like you've hit that line between, you know, it's okay to be a little uncomfortable and find some tension. You want to be pushing yourself a little bit into the stretch, but we certainly don't want to be feeling any pain um, or any uh, sharp feelings of pain, certainly. So once you're there in your position and both of your hips are still on the ground, exhale, tuck the chin, let the crown of the head fall down, five breaths. Start 
forward to come all the way back up towards center. Stay on your seat here and come to face forward on the mat. We're going to do five boat to canoes. Hug your belly button in towards your spine. You can keep the soles of the feet on the mat if you'd like, or you can come all the way up into boat pose. So legs towards that 90 degree angle or shape. Arms out nice and wide, palms up, lift up through the chest, lift long through the crown of the head. Big breath in, exhale into canoe, everything out long. Inhale, lift up, exhale out long. Three more, inhale up, exhale long, inhale up, exhale long. Good, inhale, exhale, come all the way down onto your back. One last core activity here. So walk your ankles or your heels up towards your glute. Keep your arms long, palms down, fingers together. And then inhale, start to lift your shoulders up off of the mat, tuck the chin, and then start to tap each hand to the outside of your foot. So finding this tick-tock movement, belly button to spine, belly button to spine. Good, 30, 29, 28, 27, 26, 25, 24, 23, 22, 21, 20, 19, 18, 17, 16, 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7. You got this. 4, 3, 2, 1, and all the way down. Reach out nice and long. Big breath in. And then on your exhale, squeeze your knees in towards your chest. And happy baby, knees wide, 90 degrees. Hands come to the inside or outside of the feet. Press hands into feet, feet into hands. Rock side to side if it feels good. Maybe extend one leg at a time. And then find some stillness here. Full breath in. And then exhale. I'm going to take my Shavasana by taking my soles of the feet wide, knocking my knees in towards one another, taking my left hand to my heart, right hand to my belly. Full breath in. And a full breath out. Just taking a moment to honor my own practice that I showed up for myself today, which is certainly what matters most. Maybe taking a moment to remind yourself of that I am statement or any intention that you set. It's the beauty of yoga is finding moments where you can create space, physical space in the body, or remind yourself of a mantra to create focus on your mat that you'd like to bring off of your mat into the different spaces in your life. Stay here in your Shavasana as long as you can. Soak it up. But if you're ready to end your practice, start to roll over onto one side or the other. And then using as little energy as possible, coming all the way up into a seated position on your mat or in your space. Two breaths together. Inhale, both arms up. Exhale, palms to heart center. One more time, inhale, both arms up. And then exhale, hands to heart center. Thank you all for practicing with me today. I hope that gave you a little bit of challenge, but also just some space to move in your body and to just create some flexibility 
um, which I know is why so many of us are here. Um, we want to be flexible in our bodies and also flexible in our minds um, and with our emotional space as well. Um, so as always, bloom where you are planted, and I'll see you next time. Bye, guys.